Queen's Gambit declined, Karauzek variation, 4.CXD5 x 55bf 4 c 66e 3 bf 57g 4 Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well. In the English opening, white plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. The pawn push on d5 is ready with e6, and the bishop on the dark squares can advance. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. Cxd5 captures the d5 pawn and attacks the e6 pawn. X5 captures the d5 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Bf4 develops the bishop to an active diagonal where it attacks the c7 pawn and controls the center. c6 supports the d5 pawn and allows the queen to develop on the queen side. It is excellent. e3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. It is best. Bf5 develops the bishop toward the center and controls the e4 square. It is best. G4 attacks the bishop and gains space on the king's side. It is good. The bishop is now in a secure position. Game's master. It is the final book action. Very precise. It is best. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is quite good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. That's good. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. A wise decision. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is quite good. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. This reveals an attack that poses a threat to a rook. It is quite good. The rook is now in a safe position. That's good. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. This poses a threat to an open file and a rook. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling queenside tends to be more active because the rook is closer to the center. It is good. Therefore, a knight is attached to the king. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. That's good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Takes back. This threatens to pin a bishop to the king. It is good. This misses a chance to concentrate a knight so that it can dominate more squares. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This would be a missed chance to move a piece to safety. It is incorrect. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This allows the knight to control more squares. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is quite good. 
This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. It's all right. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is quite good. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. This threatens to take an open file with the rook. It is excellent. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This is a missed chance to imply that winning a rook is possible. It is incorrect. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This is the only good move. This threatens to fork pieces. It is a great move. This enables the adversary can grab an open file containing a rook. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. As a result, the adversary can pin a pawn. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to pin a pawn. It is incorrect. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. This protects an underdefended rook that is under attack. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This loses a queen. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a queen while also checking the king. It is a blunder. This simultaneously reveals an attack on a queen and checks the king. This is the only good move. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well.